Okay, so uh, a lot of people have asked me how to find the perfect sense. Um, there isn't one, it's personal preference, but uh, obviously it's not going to be too high or too low. So I'll try and help you find your preferred sense. So mine is 1600, 0.18. Uh, I think that's the EDPI of 320, I'm pretty sure. Um, but that's a good baseline if you don't know where to start. Um, it's not too high, it's not too low, and it's just the perfect middle ground for me. Uh, so you want to figure out if you're a high sense or low sense player first. Um, I I like high sense, but I find it difficult to be consistent and uh, control it as well. Uh, and low sense is just it's just not for me. I can't I can't use low sense. But yeah. So there's pros and cons to uh, both senses. Uh, high sense. It just feels nicer, like you don't have to move your your arm a lot, but obviously that comes with uh, it being harder to be consistent and your flicks being like much less consistent because you're mainly relying on your wrist movement uh, for it, uh, which means it's, it's just a lot of micro adjusting with your wrist, uh, which leads to less accuracy because it's harder to it's harder to be consistent with your wrist rather than like your arm, for example. But it does feel nicer. And if you're like a entry player like Jet, and you're trying to like dash in and stuff, it's a lot easier to clear angles. And yeah, it just feels nicer, but it's harder to control. Uh, low sense. Mm, I was at a higher sense, but I lowered mine because I wasn't feeling consistent enough and it helps a lot. I feel like in this game, low sense is better, for sure, but uh, it's personal preference. Uh, but yeah, so low sense, you will have more control, um, but sometimes you might not have enough mousepad space to make like larger flicks. Uh, and also you have to be really good at um, resetting your mouse because obviously your sense is lower. So you have to um, do this kind of stuff way more often. Rather than like, if you have a high sense, you can just like, I don't know, you don't have to reset your mouse as often. Um, okay, so just try around with senses. You can start off with mine first if uh, if you don't know what to use, and then just go higher and lower, and just try and flick around in range. Go out here, like shoot these bots, see what feels good to you. Like if you're having, if you're having. Uh, trouble consistently hitting uh, these flying drones, um, then I would recommend you do use a lower sense because it just sounds like your sense is too high, and that was, that's what it was happening to me when my sense was too high. Um, so I try to lower your sense a bit, and obviously, if you're like under flicking on these and you're just like not making it every time like if you're like here and then you're like you're making it here every time then your sense is probably too low and you want to increase it a bit um hey, generally this should be just like a wrist movement only right uh you shouldn't be like using large swipes of your arm for this or just like tiny like wrist movements either so you want it to be like a comfortable amount uh, of movement from your arm uh, to be hitting like these so carrying on from the last point, uh, coming to the range, and if you look at these posts, you want to be able to flick between these posts comfortably, like mainly using your wrist, maybe a tiny bit of arm movement, but mainly you want to be using only your wrist uh, between these, as while you're in game, it's around up to here, like from here to here, are the type of flicks that you'll be mainly uh, using while in game, so it's um, it's good to be comfortable within that range and be able to hit shots consistently within this kind of range. Okay, uh, another point is tracking. If you don't know what tracking is, it's like your crosshair is focused on a certain point, and then while you're moving, your mouse is still on that point. Like that. Um, so if your mouse is being like if you're like too jittery, kind of like like kind of like that while you're tracking, it probably means your sense is too high. 
like it can you can do that it's fine but like i said before it's going to be harder to control and more uh, it's harder to be consistent with it unless you play with that sense for like a really long time and you just got used to it then that's fine but apart from that you don't really want to be you want it to be kind of smooth like this okay and obviously if you're trying to track something and then uh, your mouse just can't keep up with the movement like this kind of it just means your sense is too low and you should probably increase it a bit so just just go into the range like practice a bunch of flicks from like here to here practice tracking until you find a sense that is suitable for you and literally just don't change it once you find something that feels like comfortable you can flick easily with it you can uh, do this kind of thing like consistent 180s like I'm not moving my uh, arm that much and I can consistently like do easy 180s you want to find something like that uh, yeah so comfortable make sure you can track well as well and yeah just once you find a sense like that just don't change it uh, it's so important to be like consistent with your settings uh, also, a lot of people have been asking me for my settings. I do have a settings video, but I guess people can't look it up. <laughs> so, here are my settings. Graphics, uh, they're all low, apart from UI quality, it just looks a bit nicer. Uh, vignette, V-Sync off, they just... They're terrible. It's just gonna ruin your performance. Uh, four times, four times. There was a video on this on YouTube, I can't remember the name, but... Um, this was proven to have like the best quality for your video without with like the least FPS drops, I'm pretty sure. The four times, four times. And improved clarity, I have it on. Experiment sharpening, it looks bad with it on, in my opinion. So I have it off. And bloom is for like server shock darts. So I have it off. I mean on. And uh, these two are off. And audio. I don't know, some people have asked me for this as well. So it's just this. I have like the music off and stuff, and I have HRTF off. Uh, enemies on yellow, um, and raw input buffer is on. And this is my mini map. And I have player centered off because it allows me to see the entire map. Uh, I feel like you should do this. I had it on for the longest time, and. Uh, Turning it off well, is a bit weird at first, but I feel like it's it's a lot better once you get used to it. And this is my crosshair, 1522. It's in the description if you want to copy it. Uh, and all my keybinds are default apart from rays, where I have the blast pack uh, to my thumb mouse button. But yeah, that's it. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.